Hi guys, in this video we're going to take a little look at my Astronautus Crassy Pinnis, which is also known as the Bumblebee Oscar. Not just mine, we're going to look a little bit more in depth about this species as well. So, these are mine, and these are wild caught from the Rio Araguaia, and they are, I would say the bigger one is around 7 to 8 inches, and the smaller one 6 to 7 inches, uh, just the first thing I'm going to hit on this video for the facts of these is the size. If you research this fish, it will tell you they get to around 10 inches, but it's more likely they're going to get up to 14 to 16 inches. Now, I've spoke to two guys who keep these fish. One is Thomas. He has got some at 14 to 16 inches, and the other is Randy, and he has got some at 10 to 12 inches. So they do grow bigger than the 10 inches that's stated on this species. That's not even an average, I don't think. I think the average is going to be more around 12 inches, to be honest with you. But yeah, so be aware, before you buy these, they're going to grow as big as your other Oscar types. So yeah, bear that in mind. They are a very rare fish, the bumblebee. not seen as much as the more commonly known Oscar, which is the Astronautus Ocellatus. So they're the ones that you see pretty much all the time in the hobby. These are a little bit more harder to find. They're called Bumblebee Oscars because of the pattern and the colour that they've got, as you can see on in this video. These are mine, like I said, I've got two. When it comes to tank size for these, in my opinion, and I think tank size is an opinion, you know, if you make it work, it depends on a lot of different factors, but I think a fully grown pair of these are going to need a 6x2x2, by two by two, probably at least, as you can see, mine are growing out in a 5x20x24, by 20 by 24, but eventually they will be upgraded to, a, upgraded to a bigger tank. When it comes to sexing these fish, it's not as easy as people think it is. The only true way to sex these fish is to vent them or let them pair off. I don't think there's any telltale signs for the Oscar cichlid, like people might, might tell you in other videos. It's impossible, I think. So, what else can I tell you about these fish? Like I said, they are wild caught. They are from South America. And they were they these were actually caught in the Rio Araguaia. So a very, very special fish. When it comes to tank mates for these, it's gonna be, you know, you're gonna hear this a lot, more robust cichlids, but tank mates are fish that will work out with them. So all fish are different. Now I've got these in with a waru, a parrot cichlid, which is a true parrot cichlid, and a severum and they get on really well my issue with these is with each other so as you can see one is a lot brighter bigger than the other the one the one that kevin gave me is the bigger one now he is definitely the king of the tank so the other one is a little bit duller it's got a few marks on him but that's because it's not as dominant as the other one so yeah it depends i would worry more especially with the wild caught os because i found over the years of keeping these fish a long time that the wild caught oscars are actually more I would say not as aggressive, not aggressive, but they are a little bit more aggressive than the other type. So they are boisterous. These these fish of mine are very, very boisterous. They're full of personality. So when it comes to foods, I feed these an array of foods. So they get a very good balanced diet with pellets. They get mussels as a treat, bloodworm as a treat. And I do feed them some rapashi. But basically they will attack any food that I put in this tank. And they will try and eat everything that I put in this tank. So they are very messy fish. So you've got to have a good filtration on a tank with these. I've got two externals on this tank. and It does it fine, but they are messy, messy fish. When it comes to breeding these fish, again, it's like any other American cichlid, in my opinion. You have to put a few in a tank to try and get a pair. It's not, you can't, I just don't think you can throw a male and a female together. I just think you've got to grow a pair out to get the best option of a pair to breed. There are Oscars seen in the, in the, all over the place that are breeding pairs, but I've never seen a breeding pair of the Bumblebee Oscars, to be honest with you. Going back to talking about Thomas and Randy, if you want to check these out at their full size, and absolutely, honestly, I would advise you to check Thomas and Randy's Instagram accounts, which I'll pin on here because they have got phenomenal, phenomenal tanks with these in, and they've got more than two. So both have got like, so Thomas has got two, sorry, and Randy's got about six in his tank. So well worth checking out. But yeah, you know, these are a beautiful fish. I love keeping them. They are wet pets. 
and I think I've covered everything that people probably need to know if they're going to buy this fish. And I'm going to leave it there, guys. So thank you so much for all the support. It means a lot. If you're not subscribed and you like this kind of thing, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much if you've already subscribed. I appreciate it no ends. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. And I will see you on the next one.